you're an educator at the core of it all. Why do you think these principles are not more widespread and not taught in our schools just as general educational practices? Because obviously they work. Yeah, I think if you saw the movie The Secret, you saw that yeah. basically it was a secret. Rich people didn't want people to know this. Um, so the secret societies that were built up all through Europe with the Masonic temples and, you know, those kind of groups, what happens is they were maintaining this for themselves and it worked very well. And so you had the wealthy people, wealthy people have never been really happy to share their wealth with the people down below. You know, we see that with just with this year's election and the attempts to stop people from voting and so on and so forth. So I think what happens is that number one, it was not common knowledge. You don't teach what you don't know. You don't teach what you haven't been educated to learn in graduate schools of education. I mean, I went to the University of Chicago School of Education, and none of this was taught. So if you don't learn it to teach it, and there's no course called Life Skills 101 or Success Skills 101, it's not in the curriculum. You know, we learned history and math and so forth, and that's valuable. But when's the last time you used a polynomial theorem in your life? You know, I don't, I don't think it happened. You know, exactly. So we learned a lot of stuff, you know, and, and I think history is important. You know, we're learning that with, you know, African-American history as part of Black Lives Matter movement right now. But the fact is, did your life really change because you didn't know all four reasons for the cause of the Civil War or the five exports of Brazil or something? So we're not teaching today what people really need. Fortunately, because of TED Talks, because of YouTube, because of podcasts like yours, this information is getting out to the world. And fast, because you see all these coaching programs, people are coaching people, books are being written over and over and over. And um, so I just think it, it, it wasn't taught because people didn't know how to, they didn't know it. And they weren't passionate about it. You know, people that taught English were passionate about language and literature and even grammar, you know, whatever. Uh, people were passionate about science, so they taught science. Uh, nobody knew to teach this. So now that's changing. And some of the courses, my work, my, my books, like the Success Principles, the Success Principles Workbook, et cetera, those are now textbooks in many business schools in America, uh, and they're teaching courses on Success 101 or Mindset 101. Uh, so that's changing slowly. But I'd like to see it in the schools. So you had a course all the way from kindergarten to graduate school called Life Skills, where you learn values, you learn money management, you learn how to manage your emotions, you learn about setting goals, you learn about perseverance, qualities, you know, entrepreneurship, et cetera. It'll happen. I hope it does. I, I, I believe it's way more practical than so much that we're taught in our um, school system. And yeah. it's so much more useful. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.